March 11th, uh, after I had, like I was walking home to school, and as soon as I got home from school, and my phone rang, my house phone, and I picked up, it was my sister. She's all, um, well, Miguel got in, in another car accident, and I was all like, I was all like, okay, well, well, he's probably okay, because he's gone in like two other car wrecks. She said that there's already two bodies on the floor covered with the white sheets. And that's when I panicked, you know, and I called my friend's dad. He gave me a ride to the accident, to the scene, and at that moment, only two were on, you know, on the street, and uh, the other one had went to the hospital, but we didn't know who it was. Some nurse, I guess it was, she finally called us back to a waiting room, and uh, that's when she had told us that uh, my brother had passed away. All three other guys, including my brother, were intoxicated and were speeding, and they passed a red light, and uh, they hit the back of an 18-wheeler. My life was like so surrounded by him. Was, I'm like, I was so used to it. It's like that I didn't know how to do it by myself. You know, he would help me every now and then. And like sometimes, well now, now I'm like uh, the big brother of the family and I have a younger brother and he's been not acting the same. Like he's real quiet and stuff. And he's been drawing pictures and stuff about the wreck. I don't want him, like, nothing to happen to him like it happened to my, my older brother, Miguel. Don't wait for some, something to happen to a loved one or something before you realize that it's wrong. You know, just go ahead and realize that it's wrong and just stop before anything bad happens to you or to somebody else that you care about. I kind of miss the guy. I miss him a lot.